This happened yesterday in Singapore. So she just pulled and twisted the boy's left ear with so much anger as if the boy has done something bad and unforgivable. Pulling and yelling so loud into his ears can cause injury. And it obviously didn't help with the shoelace tying. According to section 321 of the penal code, what we saw in this video may be construed as an act that causes hurt to a person, which is also known as voluntarily causing hurt. It is a punishable offence. If convicted, sentence can include imprisonment up to three years or a fine up to $5,000. Just for your information. I will save my anger for something more serious another day. Maybe when he takes drugs or, uh, or worse, when he spilled coffee on my Birkin. Bottom line is, I can still live a full, long and happy life without knowing how to tie my shoelaces. There are so many shoes without laces. There are loafers, mules, sandals, buckle shoes. You are spoiled for choice. Why are you so angry? Look at how the boy tried to block his mother's hand instinctively. It can only mean that it really hurts. You pull too hard. In a few years time, when the boy is fully grown, when he is bigger, taller than you, stronger, you can't expect him to just squat there and let you pull his ears. Whatever we mothers do have consequences. It has impact on them emotionally and psychologically. Now she's staring at him tying his shoelaces. Staring could give the boy stage fright. It's the anxiety one experiences when you're performing in front of an audience. It affects 73% of the population. Symptoms could include numbness, dry mouth, tightness, raising heartbeat, sweating, nausea, and even stomach ache. And he might not be able to perform as good just because you're watching. Now we have established that staring, yelling, pulling and twisting of ears does not help with shoelace tying. If I were in a situation, I would just squat down and tie his shoelaces for him. And I'll tell him, today, mama ties your shoelaces for you. When I'm old, you tie my shoelaces. It's no big deal. And then we can all enjoy our sushi. There are just two more things that I would like to share. Number one, there's a comment below the video that caught my eye. Somebody said, she must be a stepmother. Here we can only assume that the woman is the mother of the boy. But why stepmom? I've seen biological moms who are pure evil. And I've seen and heard so many stories about stepmothers who are wonderful, amazing, and they love their stepchildren as their own. Biological, foster, adoptive or not, it does not matter. Don't stereotype. Number two, according to the Ministry of Social and Family Development website, the public should call the police at 999 immediately if the child's life and safety is in imminent danger. Let's hope we will never have to use that. 